Well, welcome back to the uh, the show, the Sean show, whatever we're doing today. I had Cody with me. We're going to pick up a BMW that he has acquired. And it's going to be his little project car. He wanted me to tag along with him. I told him this is a bad thing. If I tag along, it's always bad. And sure enough, he got a hole in the tire. And so he wanted me to plug it. A little complication here and there. We got it plugged. It's like a brand new tire. Sounds like a brand new tire. <laughs> So yeah, we're on our way to pick up the BMW. We're gonna load it up on the trailer. I've got me some peanuts, some boiled peanuts. And yeah, and we're headed that way. So, uh, we have made it to pick up the car. And uh, Cody said it's been sitting for about two years. We put a jump box on it and Cody's truck at the same time it crunk right up. I didn't, I didn't film the, the load in or the load up, because we were just kind of trying to hurry up, see if we can get it running and put it on the trailer. So we got it. So it's a BMW 528i, so I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. There she is. Runs and drives, been sitting for two years. So yeah, uh, that's what we've been doing today. Hey, welcome back everybody. Uh, this is the car that Cody picked up the other day called Free, called Free. And uh, the front driver door don't open, but the driver rear door opens. So he's trying to figure out how to get it open. <laughs> As you can see, he's gonna climb over. Um, Miata's running again, ain't that cool? So yeah, uh, not selling it at the moment, but when it does, you know, mess up, I'm gonna sell it. I'm just joking. I probably won't never. I'll probably keep it forever. But at the moment, we're just gonna try and get this door open. I'm gonna film it because uh, this could go bad. This could go good. We don't know yet. So uh, yeah, I told him to get a forklift, put a six by six in there, let the forklift push the door open because it's it's literally stuck. He's done literally everything to try and get it open. I do right, Cody. Yeah. Literally, literally everything. We're afraid to put a torch on it because we're afraid we're going to like burn it down, but... Yep. Oh, it's a big possibility. What you doing with that? Car. Let me know if you want to buy a car. <laughs> Actually, I just told him you got it for free. That's part of it. It's bent inwards right there. And that's where the latch is at. Give me like a few minutes. I'm going to try and convince him to get the forklift out. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I think I convinced him. He's going to find a 6x6 to put on the door to have the forklift back into the 6x6 to push the door open. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> it's happening. It's 100% happening. Uh, we got the forklift here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put a six by six post straight through this door, like onto this door here, like put it here. And then we're gonna get the forklift and push the door open. Filming everything. <laughs>
Did it? It's got to pop off at some point. Be careful, because if I think it's got some pressure on it, the door comes open, it's going to hurt you. That's why. He's got a crowbar. Face Cody. Watch out, Cody. The latch is broken. It's almost broken off. Yeah. We're good push. I gotta replace it all anyway. Watch out, Cody. It's so close. That's wild. I didn't get that on there. Door panel is done. Definitely leaks now, I'll tell you that. That's a piece right there. If you can just cut that. So close. What what piece is that? That's the that's that piece. That's the plastic or rubber. That's metal on the it. If I could cut that though essentially. Ooh.
metal sawzall on me. I got a sawzall at home. Do you? Yeah. Now what do you get? If I cut that, it's coming off. Is there any way to like break it? I think I think not. This piece right here. Oh, so it latches there too. Yeah. So it's. Uh, yeah. This, this, this. I'll give them this. Very secure car. <laughs> very secure. Very secure. <laughs> you got it, maybe? Yeah. We got saws. I'll go bring them tomorrow. I'll cut that tomorrow. Yeah, no, nah, I'll be good for now. I'll try that. I'll go home and torch it maybe on the. Okay. Okay. Appreciate it, guys. Appreciate it, guys. All right, well, we almost had it. It was uh, it was a good solid try, right, that, right, Cody? It didn't move none the last time. I would have done it. I was really scared. Honestly, I saw he was on top of that two by six right there, mm -hmm. and that's when I called it because I thought he moved away from it. Oh yeah, going. he was just sitting on top of just it. Hold it state. I was like, <laughs> let's cut that. Yeah, <laughs> a little safety issue kept us from uh, tipping the car over upside down. But we almost had it. It was literally moving the car. That's how strong the door is. It would not budge, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah. We're gonna bring a sawzall tomorrow. We're gonna try again tomorrow. It's gonna take the hood off anyway and just ride around without it i guess but yeah uh i think what happened when i had this exhaust welded on because it used to be just straight header and so when i had the exhaust welded on i had it straight popped but i think they welded in my experience i think they welded the exhaust hanger on the body itself and it causes rattling and they didn't like use like a like a rubber grommet to for the exhaust to hang or whatever i think that's what's going on because i've had experience before where that's happened i think that's what they did this time and i have a new muffler i got a muffler to put on it see how it rattles everything with it being loud it wasn't that bad when i i mean it of course it's bad it's so loud but it wasn't what i'm trying to say is it wasn't that bad to drive around like i hate this thing going dark and stuff um it wasn't that bad when i was like driving around town and my work was only five minutes away now my work's like 20 minutes away it's like 
so bad to like just drive to work 20 minutes so i'm getting exhaust i'm getting a muffler put on it and i've got it in the trunk right now it's a good muffler but it's not like a loud muffler it'll quieten it down a lot so that's my plan all right i've made it home <laughs> and as you can see i live in a quiet neighborhood now and so i need to quieten this thing down um but yeah here's the muffler that's going on it Uh, I think it's a DC Sports. I can't remember. Something along those lines. Anyway, it's that's the muffler. And what my idea is, is to do what everybody else does. They cut it right here. And then the muffler should be, be there showing. <clears throat> I think that would be pretty cool. So, that's what I'm going to try. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully I can do it this week. Because driving this car back and forth to work is nerve-wracking. Yeah, and we have stray cats. Yay. <laughs>